coach found a way on the road to start with an opening statement? Man, um, first thing I would say is credit the Pacific for the effort, um, for the way that they approach the game. Um, I was nervous about this game because um, league play always presents some, some different challenges. Um, we even talked about as a team how, how their season had, has not gone um, the way that they probably anticipated to this point. Um, and everything gets thrown out the window when league play starts. Um, and credit to them, they approached the game the right way. Um, you know, they played harder than us for majority of the game. Um, I thought they did a, a better job in a lot of areas. Um, but credit to our team for when adversity really hit um, in the second half and down five late, we found a way to uh, win. And I would say every team that has aspirations to do the things that we have aspirations to do, there's going to be a game like this um, throughout a conference uh, schedule. And unfortunately, ours was uh, on night one of the league, but uh, we got to do a better job focusing um, and being ready to go and competing uh, to the level that, that I expect uh, moving forward. The league six or seven from the line, a few down the stretch that were huge. Just what were you seeing out there? Well, first and foremost, I want to give glory to God, my Lord and Savior. So without him, none of this would be possible. But I just, uh, just being confident, you know, I put in tons of work. I shoot 100 free throws a day at least, and we also get in shots with the team. So free throws, I, I know uh, Mogbo or Mobo went 10 for 10 from the free throw line. That just shows you how much hard work and how much dedication we put into the small details like free throws because it can be a difference of a win or a loss. So, 21 points for you, uh, one of three guys in double figures. Just offensively, what were you seeing? Uh, just, you know, just try to play within the flow, you know, just giving whatever my team needs to win the game. So I just saw some opportunities to, uh, you know, shoot the ball or get to the basket or get to the line, whatever I need to do to get the dub. So we got a nice gritty win on the road. So that's always important. Coach, I know it feels like we ask about him every game, but Mobo finally got to 30 points, almost 20 rebounds. He had 18. Just talk about this performance specifically. Yeah, that was a man's performance. Um, can't say enough about it. He kind of put us on his back um, in some stretches there, especially in the second half. Um, made second effort plays for us, had a tip in to tie the game up late in regulation. Um, he did a much better job of scoring with his back to the basket. We've been working on that a lot with him in terms of just taking his time. Uh, and he stepped up with confidence at the free throw line in some really key situations and knocked them down. This is a guy who was a 40% uh, free throw shooter at his previous school. Uh, and that's a credit to him and how much time he invests uh, in his craft. Um, and that is outside of the practice that it, he, he um, does anything and everything he can do to improve his game. And uh, credit to him, but credit to the rest of our team too for making some big plays. Um, at key times in that game. Coach, there was a play at the end of regulation where you pulled Malik out. You seemed to get a little frustrated. Within 30 seconds, he was right back in. Just talk about the trust you've gained with him over the last month specifically. Yeah, I don't even know what I was mad at him about. But, uh, <laughs> man, he, he knows and our team knows I'm, I'm emotional, I'm competitive. Um, but I always address the situation, and then it's on to the next play. Um, and I have all the trust and faith in the world um, that Malik is going to carry out the, the expectations for him on um, both sides of the ball. Uh, and credit to him, credit, as I said, to the rest of the guys for just figuring out a way. Um, hopefully this adversity uh, will pull us closer together and be a great learning lesson for us moving forward. Malik, you guys only had eight uh, turnovers for us tonight, something you're one of the top teams in the country, and how do you turn that around moving forward? Uh, you know, Coach is a big emphasis on, you know, taking care of the ball. You know, that is probably what got us the W today, taking care of the ball. I think we were like, a, as you say, only eight turnovers, so, which we had like a couple in the first couple minutes of the game. So just taking care of the ball because we know how good we can be when we take care of the ball and we depend on the high level and end up making shots as well. Coach, from your end of the thing, just talk about the free throw percentages at the line tonight. Just what did you see out of the, the guys? Yeah, I mean, we've spent a lot of time on that. Um, but you got to, it's different, you know, shooting them in practice and stepping up to the line and, and having confidence in, in key crunch time situations. And um, thankfully, we were able to do that uh, at a higher rate than they did. Um, and that's probably a separator. We put them at the free throw line way too much. 38 times is, is atrocious, um, and that's not good enough. That hasn't 
uh, won many games for teams on the road when you allow a team at home to shoot 38 free throws. Um, so we'll have some nice film to look at and uh, chop up, but uh, most important thing is we figured out a way to win. You know, and the, the, the game went in the right column for us, uh, and that's all, all we really care about. Uh, and we'll have a nice week to prepare for, for San Diego and be ready to go uh, at a higher level come next Thursday. You mentioned San Diego, a tough team at their place. They've only lost one game down there. Just what's the message going into that one? Yeah, we got to be better in terms of just our mentality. Um, you know, winning on the road is hard. I don't care what game it is. I don't care what a team's record is. Um, we need to embrace um, kind of the struggle and the challenges that come with being on the road at a higher level. Um, they've performed well at home. Um, they have a young team, a team that is playing with really good energy. Um, Coach Lavin's doing a really good job with them. Um, but I know our guys uh, will be chomping at the bit uh, to get down to San Diego and compete uh, at a high level next Thursday. Malik, last question is for you. You guys were 13-4 advantage on second chance baskets. Just how important was that to get those second opportunities? Oh, uh, it's big because getting extra possessions for our game, it can be the difference. I know Jonathan had that big uh, putback, and I, I know I got one uh, to get us into, um, to get me at the free throw line. So just those little small detail plays can uh, be the biggest difference in the world at the end of the game. So just getting our team the most possessions we can. So just crashing the boards, Coach wants one through or the three through the five to crash the board. So it was great for us to get some extra possessions.